to deliver the speech. So uh, I request that he may be called next. I was calling him, don't worry. <laughs> okay. So Kareem Meghani from Madagascar. Yes, sir. All the way from Madagascar has finally joined us and I request his evaluator Toastmaster Talhat to please introduce the speaker and the objectives so, of the speech. Uh, so uh, Toastmaster Kareem Meghani uh, is breaking the ice today. Uh, he's our, one of our newest members and uh, judging by his calm demeanor and uh, uh, the way he is prepared for uh, the speech, uh, he's all ready to break the ice. And uh, uh, what can I say? I mean, uh, he has attended a few meetings before and he's always, always spoken very well, even when he's just introducing himself. So the purpose of icebreaker is literally to break the ice between the member and the club. The member is supposed to get comfortable uh, with public speaking. And the best way to do it is, is to reveal your deepest, darkest secrets from your past and your most evil intentions that you carry out in the future. So nothing connects you to the audience more than that. And the audience is supposed to learn more about the speaker, where they come from and what they're about and what they're about to do. So live from Madagascar, here is Toastmaster Kareem Megan. Toastmaster Hi. Kareem, please pin the timers. Uh, yeah. Dita is, is the timer as well. And please use the word of the day that is Timinia. Yeah, please. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's 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 some, something uh, a big new challenge for me for today. Um, first, uh, uh, are we starting now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did you guys uh, see a tapestry in your life? If anybody wants to see a tapestry, did you see a tapestry or a painting of tapestry? I like to wish. I like you all to visualize a tapestry. Um, if the host can allow me, I can share a picture. Um, that will be a quick. Now you should be able to share. Did you see this picture? What you see? So it's a crown in a tapestry form. But if you see a crown on the other side, if you see, this is the back of the crown. Toastmasters, all of you, Hello, this is Kareem Megani from Madagascar. And today I want, to, I want you to visualize what we are seeing here. And put yourself in this picture, all of us. If we see ourselves in this picture, what is on the front is very calm, suited. But on the back side, we have a history, we have a story. So for today's icebreaker, I just want to break this ice by telling a wonderful quote by His Highness the Al Khan III, Sultan Muhammad Shah. He said that struggle is the meaning of life. So when I see myself, I see a tapestry. I'm standing in front of you, all lovely people. I'm standing in front of you with my posture, with my suit, with my tie. But on the back, I have a history. I have a story to tell you. How I started my life. Let's go back. Little people tell me when they see me, they say that, you know, it's maybe 50 years, but it's not 50, 60 years. It's just 40 years. So 42 years in exact. So 42 years ago, when I came to this world, I came to a very humble middle-class family. And... What was, my, what was my parents' ambition about me to study? Whatever they have, they tell me the first thing that whatever we have, 
We are just giving you, but just study. Finish your studies. And I know that I am, I was raised, from the beginning, I raised in a very humble middle class family. So when my parents told me that, you know, I need to study, the first thing came in my mind that, okay, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a medical doctor because I want to serve people. Okay, I want to serve people, then I want to be a medical doctor. So, okay, I took this vision. I did my matriculate in medical. I had good grades in one of the schools in Karachi. My father did excellent work by saying that, you know, if I regard my father is like my, my hero because he was working 12 hours a day just making sure that me and my brother get good studies. And I entered into a medical school. Not in a medical school, in fact, in the college life, I wanted to be a, a medical student, so I joined medical college. But at that time, I realized when I look at my objectives, it's too huge for a middle class family. So one day, when my mom was sitting in a balcony, I just went to my mom and I exploded in front of her. I said, mom, you want me to be a doctor? I want to be a doctor, but how we will afford the medical school fees? How we will do this? My mom said, Bita, whatever you do, just do it with a good near. You will find your way. But at that time, I'll tell you honestly, I stopped believing in myself. And once I stopped believing in myself, I didn't enter to a medical school. I had not a good grades. And then what happened with all Karachi students, they entered to commerce, most of the students in Karachi. And I joined commerce. That's a long history after that, because I told you it's 42 years of history. And I just show on the green card now that I need to wind up this. I'm just telling you one struggle in my life. Where I'm standing, standing right now, where I'm standing right now, I'm still serving people because I'm working with a very big non-governmental organization which serves people also. We serve poverty also. We serve social development also. So when I look back to this tapestry, I say that you ha I have my wounds, I have my problems, my issues. But what I reach today is because of that struggle which I face in my life. Because I had a vision to serve people. Thank you all. I just want to say that the struggle is the meaning of the life, meaning of life. And whatever step you will take, it will be hard, but you just need to face it. Thank you all. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Kareem, for such an amazing, inspiring speech. Moving